Hello and welcome to Mellow Labs. On today's episode, we're making a very special present for my friend Dan, brought to you by Patreon. This is Dan. As well as being a very good friend, he has also just started his own YouTube journey. Good luck, it is a long and difficult journey ahead of you. So, to commemorate this, and to thank him for being a very good friend, I want to make him a gift. However, I don't know what to make him. The guy has a workshop with like welders, 3D printers, sanders, he has a, a, a saw thing. Like, I'm, I'm a little bit jealous of the stuff that he is able to make. So I need to think of something to make for a person who can basically make anything himself. I'm gonna go have a think about this. So, here's my idea. Dan's channel is Gears, Code and Fire. So what I want to make is a subscriber counter. Yes, I know I already made one recently, but this one is very different. We start off with the base, which, now looking at it, I get that it looks a lot like my subscriber counter, but we're going further. On top of it, I'm gonna add my smart air freshener. Not because Dan smells, because I'm planning to make his wife hate me. I'm gonna add a spark here <laughs> to ignite it. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Dan. <laughs> so, we've got the code. We've got the fire. That just leaves the gears. What are we doing with those? Well, technically, there are gears inside this mechanism, but I'm not counting those. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't think this would be very special if it went off every time Dan gained a subscriber. Instead, I'm going to add a bunch of gears behind here and the gear at the back here will have numbers on it from 9 to 0. The wheel at the back will count down 10 subscribers. So every time Dan gains 10 subscribers, he gets fire. I'm so very sorry, Dan's wife. Now that we've got a solid idea, let's go play around in CAD. One CAD later. The design is done. I won't show it to you now because that will spoil the surprise. Instead, I'm just going to get it printed. And meanwhile, we can talk about the electronics. This is an electric light. This is an electric lighter. It makes electric fire happen. It has a little switch and it has a button. And between these two wires, it makes a spark. Item number two is my smart air freshener. It has a D1 Mini at the back, and all I have to do is plug it in. I'm gonna take out the cartridge before I plug it in because when you turn it on, it goes off. Apparently it's a feature. Now we can put the cartridge in. Beautiful. And theoretically, if I hold this down. That worked better than I expected. Oh, that's perfect. Now, we just have to make this controllable with a microcontroller. Uh, let's take it apart. One excruciating mistake later. I had a problem. Uh, this has a, a timeout thing built in, which means it turns off after 30 seconds of inactivity. Uh, and I cannot bypass it. And it's kind of an issue. So, uh, I'm gonna buy a, a DIY one from eBay and we'll, um, we'll move on to, uh, We'll move on to something else. Luckily, my parts have finished printing. When these came off the printer, I just gave them a nice surface sanding to give it a nice cool finish. And then I put in some heat inserts so that I can attach things together. Normally, I don't care. I would just raw dog the screws in there. But because this is going very far away from me, where I have very little control over it being used, uh, I want this to be like, you know, I want it to show how professional I can be when I actually try. Uh, back to your regularly scheduled junk next week. We've got our base. We've got our uh, back brace thing here. This is where the spark's going to come out. Our uh, air freshener is going to sit here. The screen's going to be in here. 
and we're going to have this gear with the numbers on it just back here and that will spin. Oh, I can't wait to finish this. It's honestly a project I'm really excited for now. The gears are on bearings, not because they need to. I just want to get rid of plastic on plastic issues. Again, reliability. Reliability. And those sit on little standoffs that fit in the back here. And then that goes on there. And then ta-da! And then with the help of a stepper motor, this will uh, show you how many subscribers you have left until fire. Ah oh, man, I can't wait so much for this. I've got it set up on a little uh, 500 step loop back and forth. Uh, it works great. Now what I need to do is add a little end stop switch at the back to interact with the gear when it gets to a certain position so that it knows where it's zero is. As you can see, I've installed the switch. I didn't run the wiring, but there is a channel on the inside where I can feed them through. I started the code, it's calibrating itself and there it knows where it is. So now if I give it a number, if I tell it to go to zero, it's on zero. Before we move on to the next number, this isn't the smartest way I could have done this because uh, in order for it to go to one, it, uh, it has to go all the way back to its uh, reset position and then it goes to one. I could write a bunch more code and probably figure out how to do it. Instead, I'm going to do a marketing trick and call it the retro rotary phone effect. Huh? Sounds good, don't it? So let's go to five. I mean, it works, I'm happy. Now that we know it works, I'm gonna run this cable on the inside and we'll uh, make it all nice and clean. One getting carried away later. It's been a couple days. I'm still waiting on the arc generator thing, but uh, meanwhile, I have had wrestler's everything syndrome and I like 95% completed this. Like the only thing missing is the arc generator thing and for me to like glue this down to the base and to finish up the code. So let's take it back. Let's say it's 80% complete. Um, let's go over everything I've done. I installed the screen. I put in the fire on demand button. I routed the cable on the inside for the end stop switch. For extra points, I got my partner to braid this cable. I added connectors to every wire so that it can be quickly connected and disconnected. Finally, I made a custom PCB board that fits perfectly inside there. And I've transferred over the, uh, the stepper motor controller because this was too chunky. And I've got numbered connectors here for all the individual pieces, except of course the arc generator. I'm still waiting on that. There's the beautiful wiring I did for this project. I always find myself being overwhelmed with the job at hand when I have to do these, but then I kind of get lost in the process and I enjoy myself and then I really enjoy looking at it. Although I could have routed these better, I don't care, it's beautiful, I love it, it works, let's go test it out. Now that everything is connected, I can slide this in here, it fits perfectly and there's even extra room for later. I'm not going to lie to you, when I was making this PCB board, I didn't put, uh, I didn't put any thought into the USB cable to power it. So uh, I had to I had to cut this one down just slightly, but it fits. Let's put the lid on and power it up. For testing, I've got a very basic script where I can input a number and it's going to display it. So let's give it a go. Let's try uh, this comical number. I'm so. God damn happy every time it works. Let's uh, let's try a different one. It's so good. Moving on, I also have the uh, the fire button, which won't produce fire right now because I don't have the arc thing, as I've mentioned many times before. Can you tell I'm mad about it? Anywho, so for now, it just triggers the uh, the, the air freshener thing. But eventually, that will be the button that will make fire. Can I, can I make fire? Now we've got a, uh, we've got fire. It's just so goddamn cool every time. With all of that out the way, I'm gonna go and very impatiently wait for the arc generator to arrive. Uh, I'll see you when it does. One delivery later. 
It's here, finally, it arrived. I got so impatient, I printed this little red button to cover up the, uh, the switch here. It, it looks really cute. Uh, so let's go and make this now. Finished, uh, I assembled it. You might notice there are some missing parts. I did that on purpose because A, we won't be needing this bulky ass uh, power connector and we won't be using this button. We'll be using a relay. So first, let's test if it works. Success, it works, fantastic. So now we have to test if it works with a relay. My relay testing setup leaves a lot to be desired. I'm using a C battery because I don't have the relay connected to a microcontroller, but it works, hell yes. Yes, 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 this is what I needed. Okay, 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 okay. Calm down, calm down. First, I have to extend those wires because they're a little bit too short. I extended this wire and it still works. Step two is to add a connector so that I can plug this into the motherboard. Here it is, that's, that's the whole thing. I even shrink wrapped it to prevent like shorting and stuff. So let's go and install this. I'm using the neck piece from the original lighter I was going to use because I already modeled all of this for that. So uh, we just have to cut it down slightly. Now I have to run this on the inside and pull it out the top. That is the tightest fit out of everything here. I had to remove the heat shrink tubing. Oh, that's convenient. It's actually popped up right here. Ah, perfect. I put it in. I had to really jam it in there. So uh, let's do a quick test and make sure it still works. Oh, thank f oh, why did you scare me like that? This has been a very eventful morning for me. I'm going to take a break, have some tea, and next we'll be putting on relays on this motherboard. One soldering job later. I've soldered on the relays. Ignore this wire, we'll get to it later. One of the final things to do is to like actually permanently glue this in place. Let me get my glue. Very anxious about gluing this down. This is like the last final piece. All right, let's give that a couple minutes to set. I squeezed all the electronics in there. Final piece is to put the lid back on and see if it actually closes with everything stuffed in there. There it is. Oh, it's so stupid and it looks so good. You have no idea how proud of this I am. This is like the most complicated and the stupidest project I've done. Done. If you ever decide that you don't want this anymore, or like you become a minimalist and you don't want objects of any sort, just please send it back to me. God, it, it shoots fire. Let's get back to this mystery wire. It's here to solve a problem. This whole thing under load takes up just under three amps. And I was planning to have it run off of like a phone charger, but this is two amps max. And when the uh, the arc generator thing turns on, it just reboots the whole system. So I had to add this wire to plug into my power supply. But theoretically, if you get a higher amp phone charger thing, it would probably work fine. It's powered up and I do have a test script running that lets me press the button and it should launch a fireball. So uh, without any further ado, Yes. <laughs> I mean, it's self-explanatory, isn't it? We are like on the final 95%. I have to finish up the code and that shouldn't be too difficult because I've already got most of the code written and then packaging and shipping it to Dan, which honestly is gonna be the most nerve wracking part because it's probably gonna take like a week or two. Let's go finish the code. 10 hours of integration hell later. It's 100% finished. Are you ready? Look at it. 
I understand I'm probably just like way too hyped for this project, but look at how good it looks. I designed and printed stickers for it. I spent like eight hours straight coding it. Most of it is like safety stuff to make sure it doesn't just like continuously spray fire. Technically it's possible, but an unlikely scenario. This is ready to be shipped. I've got like a leaflet with like a quick start guide and stuff. I've got like a bunch of stickers for him as well. And I've also got an apology letter for Dan's wife because uh, judging by the last video he made, I don't think she likes fire that much. To finish off, if you are here from Dan's channel, hello and welcome, please consider subscribing. If you are not, go over to Dan's channel, link in the description, he made an unboxing video and he doesn't know this yet, but I'm going to sit down with him for multiple hours and we're going to shoot a Patreon exclusive video going over every detail I've put into this work and if you don't think it's going to be multiple hours long, I have had conversations with Dan over the phone that have lasted like upwards of two hours. So if this doesn't end up being a four hour video, I would honestly be surprised. Support me on Patreon and I'll see you there. Till next time, goodbye. Do 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 do. I didn't even mention the part where I accidentally blew up the screen.